In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a clinometer. A clinometer is a very low-tech way to measure the height of an object. So to build a clinometer, you'll need a few items. You're going to need some cardboard. You're going to need a straw. You're going to need some string. I use dental floss. Dental floss works really well. You'll need a washer. You'll need some tape or some glue. I use tape, it's less messy and it works just as fine. Some scissors, and you'll need an inverted protractor. So you can find these online, you can print them off. But what you want is you want the zero degrees on the bottom and you want the 90 degrees to be at the top. The first step is to cut out the protractor. Once you've done that, you wanna put the protractor on some cardboard, cut out the cardboard so the protractor fits on the cardboard. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape or glue the paper to the cardboard. Once that's done, you're gonna need to tie the washer to some of that string. You'll need about a foot of string. Next, what you're gonna do is make a little notch in the protractor. doesn't have to be very big, it just has to be big enough to fit the string. Then what you're going to do is you're going to drape one end of the string over the protractor into that notch. The reason is the string with the washer needs to be able to pivot at this point up here. Then you're going to tape the string to the clinometer. If there's any excess string, you can start to trim that up. The last step is to put the straw on top. Tape the straw along the edge of the clinometer. And that's how you build a clinometer. The washer should pivot along the top point. Now that we've built our clinometer, let's learn how to use it. The straw on top of the clinometer is what you're gonna look through when finding the height of the object. When you look through the straw, look at the top of the object of which you're measuring the height of. The clinometer will give you the angle. Once you have the angle, you can use this equation to find the height of that object. The variable L is the distance from the object to the observer. The angle is the angle that the clinometer will give you. The lowercase d is the length of the person from the bottom of their feet up to their eyes. If you plug all those variables into the equation, you will get the height of the object that you're looking for. I'm gonna measure the height of this lamppost using my clinometer. I'm gonna stand on the yellow line. All I need to know is the distance from the yellow line to the lamppost. And that's 7.3 meters. So I'm looking at the top of that lamppost. Wait for a little bit. Then I grab the string. And that'll get me the angle. And that is how you build and use a clinometer. 